just remembered part of a podcast that I had listened to a while ago, probably on YouTube or somewhere like that. I don't remember the podcast. I don't remember who two men were talking. I just remember the question. And I remember that the host of whatever podcast had asked the other guy, why do you think a lot of women aren't atheists or there's less women in the atheist atheism movement? And I don't remember what the guy said in response to that, but I know why. It's because there is a lot of sexism, transphobia, ableism, racism, and just general might-makes-right mentality in the secular movement, atheist movement, but in particular in the anti-theist um, part of those movements especially. I was raised by anti-theists, and I am a transgender person, and I know that um, despite a lot of these people claiming allyship of my demographics, claiming allyship over disabled people and LGBT people, a lot of what they actually promote is directly antithetical and the opposite of what um, is going to lead to people living in unity. And a lot of these people don't, if you ask the average atheist, a lot of them do not know what pantheism is. What I think is probably a lot of the same women who left the Abrahamic faiths found other things like witchcraft, pantheism, and other practices that are more consistent with nature, that are more consistent with our ancestors like different people, like if you go back in time and look at where everything comes from, all ancient cultures were pantheistic. And the average atheist doesn't even know what pantheism is and doesn't know that most ancient cultures did not see mythology the way that the Abrahamic faiths treat mythology, where they conflate mythology with historical fact. Whereas in pantheistic cultures, they knew that it was myths. They knew that they were telling stories. And the gods were not seen in the same way as how the Abrahamic faiths treat their gods. They weren't seen as these, like, physical beings. And I think probably a lot of women are actually just able to look at the history and realize that and then switch to either pantheism or witchcraft or other things that are more consistent with nature rather than falling for the might-makes-right bullcrap of atheism. And, you know, I've seen people say, oh, well, that's not all atheists. And it's not all atheists. The same way it's not all Christians, the same way it's not all men, the same way it's not all anything. But it's enough. It's enough to be a problem. It's enough for people to realize, wait a minute, are you saying that any culture's belief system is against you? That you don't believe in any other cultures? Because that's racist. That is racist, saying that none of the other cultures can have their own belief systems. Because that's what I was raised under. That's the kind of anti-theism I was raised under. It was just as aggressive and ableist and racist and sexist as Christianity was. And I was actually raised both. I was raised half Christian and half atheist. And I can confidently say that the forms of it I was raised in, because I was raised evangelical, evangelical Protestant and a little bit of uh, Quakerism at the end there. And then I was raised anti-theist subtype of atheist. And both were just as abusive as each other. I can confidently say that. they, Even though they, they believe in like opposite things, in practice they do the same thing to minorities. And I've seen it happen again and again and again. So I, I don't fall for it. And I think I know why a lot of women aren't atheists. It's probably because they're not falling for it either. They're seeing all these white guys and these, these like <laughs> fucking people talking and they're like this doesn't include me. And they're right. It probably doesn't.